Interventions with a King. Discussion and commentary based on articles from Jack, Cardiovascular Interventions. Hello, my name is Habib Samadi. I'm one of the associate editors of Jack Interventions. I'm from Emory University. And uh, it's a great honor and privilege to welcome uh, Dr. Patrick Soroys, who's professor of medicine at Rotterdam in the Netherlands. Uh, he'll be uh, publishing a paper in the upcoming issue of Jack Interventions entitled Long-Term Clinical Results Following uh, Left Main Stem Stenting, Insights from Research and T-Search Registries. Dr. Soroys, welcome to uh, Jack Interventions interview. Thank you, Abby, for having me here. Um, in this paper, we are reviewing the experience between 2000 and 2005, and we start with triglutin stent, uh, all comers in 2002. And uh, this is a long follow-up. Uh, median time is uh, 1,400 days, more than 1,400 days. And uh, uh, to summarize what we have observed in these difficult positions, population, I must mm -hmm. say that 25% uh, uh, were STEMI patient with main STEM, 8% was in uh, cardiogenic shock uh, at entry, uh, their syntax score was on average 39 and uh, euro score of 4.4, so mm -hmm. I tell you a difficult population. And in general, after discussion with the surgeon, uh, the surgeon decided that uh, uh, PCI was a better option than surgery for these patients. That's the type of population that we are describing in this paper. Now, in a nutshell, what we have observed uh, at, with more than four years of follow-up is that uh, patient-oriented outcome, we call that patient-oriented, this all cause of mortality, all myocardial infarction, all revascularization was around 55% and all cause of mortality was around 35%. So let, let me understand, so this is in the drug eluding stent population or is this all comers? No, so it, it is the first 79 uh, bare metal stent. Okay. And then on April uh, 16, 2002, mm -hmm. we shift 100% for a drug eluding stent. First, a cipher, that's the research, yeah. and then uh, taxes with the T-search. So that's the population we are talking, uh, okay. describing. So what was the design and, you know, what did you observe differences between drug eluding, bare metal, and what was the cumulative uh, uh, event rates over the four years. Right. I mean, what is interesting is that in this case, uh, there was not too much uh, difference between the population prior to 2002 with bare metal stand and after that. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have to face a complex uh, adjustment of propensity. And one of the, the message of this paper is that we did uh, somewhat arbitrary landmark analysis after two years. Mm -hmm. And we saw that some of the benefit of the drug eluding stand uh, disappear between two and four years of follow-up. And that's something that we have observed now in different populations also. We publish in uh, GSCC in acute myocardial infarction. Mm -hmm. We saw the initial advantage on uh, TLR and TVR disappearing with time, so that at the end, uh, the outcome is very similar between uh, a bare metal stand and drug eluting stand. It's not a reason not to use it, but certainly there is a, a, a phenomenon of erosion that I described recently in GACC in the five years follow-up of uh, ARTS-2, right. where we see that slowly the so-called definite probable possible stand thrombose creates some phenomenon of erosion, at least with these first generation of so, stenting. So with bare metal stents catching up, you think it's predominantly a late, some stent thrombosis relation with drug eluding stents that create the events and therefore, and you don't see them as much with bare metal stents right. later on. In this study, we relied completely on the Bureau of Statistics of Den Haag. Mm -hmm. So we are not adjudicating anything. It is done by in Den Haag by the Bureau of Statistics using the ICD-10, which okay. is the International Description for Death uh, Revision 10. Uh, in the ARTS-2 study, we were 
really looking at what happens in this patient. And what you say is correct. I mean, the erosion in terms of event is coming for 32% from this problem of stent thrombose, which I hope will be different with the second generation because we're still talking here cipher and taxes. Okay, so last word. In 2010, if you had to place a drug-looting stent in a left main, a large 4045 left main, would you put in a drug-looting or bare metal? Oh, definitely a drug eluting stand, and that's what we are going to test again versus surgery in the Excel trial yes. that we are going to start with Greg Stone, Joe Sabic, and Ari Peter Capitan before the end of the year. Fabulous. Well, thank you very much, and it's wonderful to have you in the Jack Intervention Studio. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for listening.